Super Bowl weekend is upon us, and whether you're a Ravens fan or a 49ers fan, what you'll be eating will be almost as important as the game itself. Luckily, to save you time, the Daily Meal has these two great recipes. For Ravens fans, crab cakes, of course. In fact, the Ravens home stadium in Baltimore has them ready to serve at every game. So why not keep up the tradition and support this Baltimore team the local and crab way? And for the 49ers fans, try a seafood chipino. This fisherman stew made from whatever was brought in from the sea on that day got its name in the 1800s in the northern part of San Francisco, where both Italian and Portuguese settlers called home. More on Super Bowl snacks later, but now let's get started with this week's Food News Today. From here in the U.S. to China to Australia, if you've been following the weather across the globe, you've noticed what it's been a little extreme. A recent article in The Week poses the question, is this intense weather proof of climate change? In China, folks are struggling through its coldest winter in memory, with such heavy snow that houses in Xinjiang have had their roofs collapse. Then we take the other extreme. Weather forecasters in Australia have actually added new colors to their weather maps to illustrate temperatures now over 130 degrees. What's more, the week reports that 2012 was officially the hottest year on record here in the contiguous U.S., topping 1998 by one full degree. So we have to ask, is this proof of climate change? And does this mean that now is the time to really tackle this issue before it's too late? Climate change was given significant attention in President Obama's inaugural speech. He said, we will respond to the threat of climate change knowing that failure to do so would betray our children and future generations. And addressing opposition, he also stated that some may still deny the overwhelming judgment of science, but none can avoid the devastating impact of raging fires and crippling drought and more powerful storms. With the Obama administration seemingly prepared now to take this issue on head on, maybe now is the time to really tackle the issue and for us all to do our part. Now let's head back to the Super Bowl. It's not just about the game. It's about, of course, the food. So we checked in with our Facebook friends to see what you'll be chowing down on game day. Seems like Chris is a Ravens fan choosing their local favorite. Crab cakes with a Stella. Andrew, hand-rolled pigs in a blanket. Ross goes for nachos, 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 and more nachos. Joe, it's all about the spicy chicken wings, and let's not forget the beer, a common theme. Lynn wants healthier options, anything low-carb and low-calorie, and maybe boring. And it looks like poor Bob won't be eating anything at all. I'm a Giants fan, so I'll probably take my wife to a movie. But don't forget, Bob, buy some popcorn. The U.S. Calorie Control Council estimates that Americans pack away 11 million pounds of chips on Super Bowl Sunday alone. And the National Chicken Council, their estimate is that we will consume 1.25 billion pounds of wings. Now, if all this sounds a little heavy to you, or maybe you want to enjoy the game with something a little bit more nutritious, don't worry. There are plenty of healthy game options. For a start, check out Light Life. They have a line of all-natural foods, everything from veggie burgers to appetizers, deli meats. There's something for everyone. What about trying a Super Bowl souffle? I recently reviewed this butternut squash souffle from Garden Light, and the product was a hit. The entire 7-ounce portion is just 180 calories with 2 grams of fat and 18 grams of sugars, but it's loaded with 8 grams of protein. Think of this as a terrific light lunch or a side dish. Another idea, it's a superfood Super Bowl. Navitas Naturals shared with us these two great ideas. Try barbecue kale hemp chips. Kale is a superfood, which according to the USDA is packed with calcium, vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin K, folic acid, to name just a few. And hemp seeds have fiber, protein, and they all contain essential amino acids. And what about a little light guacamole with your chips? This one is made with chia seeds, great for fiber. 
One of the goals of the 2010 Dietary Guidelines was for everyone to up our intake of daily fiber. The average American only eats 40% of their daily fiber, so why not throw in a few chia seeds right in your guacamole? And also, talking about whole grains, don't forget Orville Redenbacher popcorn. It's available just any way you want it, already popped in the bags, microwavable, or ready to cook on top of the stove. So whether you go healthy or decide to indulge for the day, there's no excuse not to have a food-filled Super Bowl Sunday. That's all for this week's edition of Food News Today. Don't forget to check out supermarketguru.com. Send me a message on Facebook or Twitter. I'd love to hear from you. Food News Today is sponsored by ConAgra Foods, who shares with me the desire to provide the most current, interesting, and unbiased food news. Thanks for tuning in, and happy Super Bowl, no matter who wins.